What is up guys, TechRite back with another video for you guys today and today I will be doing a frequently asked questions on the ZTE Z Max Pro. So any questions that you guys ask, uh, I will be covering a lot of them in this video, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so first question I was asked was does it support dual SIM? And I will go ahead and break this, uh, break this uh, comment up now show you guys that it does not support dual sim uh, as you see right there sim card just fell out but does not support dual sim uh, you can also put an SD card in there but no it does not support the question I've really been getting a lot is how fast is the fingerprint scanner and how many fingerprints can I have up on the scanner um, the question or the answer to your question is you can have up to five on your uh, phone at one time and you can change up the fingerprints uh, if you want it for your friend your family member or just for your five fingers or one for each index finger um, so yeah you can have up to five and the fingerprint scanner is pretty good um, takes about 0 0.9 to a second so I'm gonna test it right now three two one wait hold them three two one go so pretty fast um, this is a budget phone so uh, even having a fingerprint scanner on this phone is just another question I have received was that how is the battery life? How is the battery life with the device? Um, you really need a device you can depend on for battery life throughout the day whether you're going to work or you're going to school um, This phone does definitely deliver um, I will be doing a battery life vlog on this phone if you subscribe uh, stay tuned for that video but I have to tell you, uh, just playing this, playing games on this and watching videos such as Netflix, YouTube, um, anything on this device, uh, running at probably half brightness to full brightness, it will probably last you about six to seven hours um, around that time. But um, you're going to get some good screen on time with this device. Um, has really good battery life, so uh, you're going to be set. Next on question I got was about the screen and how is the screen? Well, I do have to tell you that this is a 1080p screen. Uh, this is an IPS display. This is not an AMOLED display, but guys, I was truly surprised when I opened up this phone and I saw the display. Um, the wallpapers look so nice on this phone. Uh, a lot of people are asking, is it better than the J7 screen? Um, the difference between this and the J7 screen is that the J7 does have an AMOLED display and this is a regular IPS LCD display. So that means that uh, J7 is better. Um, even though it is 720, I'm pretty sure it's more crisp because of that AMOLED display. But guys, you will not be disappointed when you buy this phone. The screen is very nice and hopefully you can pick one of these up. But yeah, screen's super, super nice. You're gonna have a good time watching uh, YouTube, playing video games, and watching Netflix. Pretty awesome screen, guys. Next question I have is, does this phone lag? Um, this phone does not lag at all. This does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 uh, processor. This also does have a octa-core processor. So um, it's better than the uh, recent phone I reviewed, the LG G Stylo, which only had a quad-core processor. Also, when playing games, this thing is feathery smooth. Also has that 405 Adreno processor under its belt. So you will have no problem running video games or running anything with windows open on this phone this phone is super fast and feathery smooth so you will have no problems i haven't had any lagging at all on this phone and it is very smooth smooth as butter next question we have here is how is the device's display and direct sunlight so the only way we can test this out is in real real life so we're gonna go outside right now and test this out this phone screen is super bright so we're gonna go ahead and test it outside right now okay guys so we are now outside and um the screen in real life you can you can see it so it's pretty good uh you probably can't see it on the camera that well but um it's pretty good in real life um we're gonna have no problem seeing this uh the screen and yeah pretty bright and pretty good okay guys another question i was asked is does the ar mode work on pokemon go so we will be testing this out right now and i will be showing you if the ar mode does work on pokemon okay, go guys as you see the ar mode does work you see eevee right there on the ground and the ar mode does work so yeah 
we're good on Pokemon Go. Okay guys, so last question I will be answering in this video is how big is it compared to the LGG Stylo? So I will have my LGG Stylo right here at hand and kind of do a little comparison. As you know, the LGG Stylo is pretty huge. And for this phone to be bigger than it, that's pretty crazy. So it's about, I would say half an inch or maybe even an inch bigger than the um, LGG Stylo. Um, yeah, this phone is pretty dang huge. It's wider as well, as you guys see. Just covers the whole phone up. Um, but yeah, that's how it is comparison to the if LGG you guys have Stylo. Any questions on this phone? I will do a frequently asked questions part two if you guys would like that. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. And if you do have any questions, please leave a comment down below as I will try to answer all of them in the next frequently asked questions or maybe I'll answer them right away in the comments by replying. Thank you guys for watching. If you're a new viewer on these videos, then please subscribe. Um, you're welcome into the TechRite family. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. And I do, I really do recommend this phone. Uh, you guys should upgrade if you guys do have the LGG Stylo. Upgrade to this phone. Trust me. Peace out, guys.